Let's talk about another quarterback that I assume you hold near and dear to your heart. This might be the most Italian human that has ever played <laughs> in the <laughs> NFL. In New Jersey oh, for God. the Giants. His oh, agent, God. his agent is the most Italian looking agent of all time. Pinky ring hat, three-piece suit, Italian horn, the size of his sternum, <laughs> kissing, obviously. Tommy DeVito's yeah. dad, who owns a plumbing company, uh-huh. who has of course uh, he does. the marketing. Of course he does. Exactly. Yes. And the marketing photo is actually their plumbers dressed up like Mario and Luigi. Yeah. This is the most Italian story in an Italian riddled NFL uh, that I think I've seen in some time. And he's ignited the boys over there. Obviously, they're playing yeah. with some energy and they're one game out of a wild card Ooh. spot, even though ESPN Analytics, which I don't know what this means, gives them a 0.4% chance of making the playoffs. Once again, have no idea what that means because who knows what's going to happen in any of these games. I guess AI does, and that's what the future looks like. He can run. He can spin it. He's got moxie. The boys seem to love him. And the New York Jets fans, or New York Giants fans, I'm sorry, I think are massive fans as well. What is your take on the Tommy Cutlets, Tommy (laughs) Bolognese, Tommy DeVito story, Michael Lombardi? I I think it's a great story. Look, I I think it's tremendous. I think it's going to have a shelf life. And I don't want to burst the bubble, but it's going to have a shelf life. Like, I I think to me, Chuck, I mean, Chuck, look, you're playing the Giants. You're Joe Barry. You're sitting in your team room on Tuesday afternoon, and you sit there and say to yourself, okay, what will what will they do to my defense? What, what are they going to do? They're going to run the quick game, and they're going to try to run the ball, and they're going to have some variation of quarterback runs. So I got to stop that. Not a hard game plan to stop, right? But when you let the guy, the clip you keep showing there, they had three guys pass the quarterback. I hate to break the news to you. The worst place to be in football is past the quarterback because he's yet to turn and run that way. So, well, like, you've got to be able to coach and take away what he does and take away what he wants to do. He's got 10 rushes for 71 yards. You can't let him have that. And so, to me, the more tape he gets, the more people are going to say, okay, you're going to have to make throws. You're going to have to read it out make coverages. Look, I think it's a great story, and I think the kid's tremendous, and I admire his Italian heritage and, and from North Jersey, everything about it, I, I get. But this is a league of talent, and to let him go three for three in the red zone and make plays and not control him in the pocket with your pass rush, I think you, as Belichick would often oh! say to the team, we deserve what we got. We deserve what Look we got. And Green ball. Bay deserve what they got. Look at that ball. There's Look. a couple. He's on the run. He's putting that thing in a bucket in a breadstick basket. Yeah. You're talking about <laughs> literally. You into- bring me back. All right. You bring me back when it happens. I mean, look, it's a great story. I appreciate it. It really is. <laughs> but uh, you guys can keep going down that road all you want. You know, uh, it, it, Green Bay did as much to help him. I think it's tremendous. And and look, I think it's he tremendous. Proves, he, he proves the point that I was talking about earlier. The players buy into him. I mean, they like him. And when you like somebody, you play better. I think it's a, it's really a commentary on how the quarterback has to be the leader of your team. We're going to get ready to go into this NFL draft. And if you're going to take the guy the first pick over on the draft, you got to make damn sure, A, the players like him, and B, he can be the face of your franchise because they're going to gravitate towards him. Yeah, there's going to be about 250 people at his birthday party. Yeah. And a lot of them are going to be his teammates, which is good. We all saw it on draft day. Right. Mm-hmm. Kevin Costner noticed none of his teammates were at his birthday party. Yep. That's an immediate him. tell here on what type of leader he's going to be. Tommy DeVito not only has his Italian family mm-hmm. and other Italian families mm-hmm. that are close to his Italian family – Showing up with envelopes. How's your family? Yeah, Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy course. holidays. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday. You also got the entire Giants family now showing up. And hopefully everybody's coming in their pinstripe suits. Oh, yes. Yep. I hope it is. I love it. Michael hey, Lombardi. Here's what I will tell you. Paisano. Don't take my word for it. Take, don't take my word for it. Okay, the betting market. We all love the betting market, okay? The Carolina Panthers, who we acknowledge is one of the worst teams in the league. They went into New Orleans last week. They were a six-point dog, and the line got bet down to four and a half by kickoff. The New York football giants with Tommy DeVito leading the show, they're a six-point dog going into New Orleans, and the line hasn't moved an inch. Maybe it'll go to five and a half. I'm just saying, I don't think all the goombas who do the betting are on the same train. You're allowed to say that. I am not, although I do have an Italian whore. Yeah, so. we can't. <laughs> I think he's saying about- Dennis Allen. You're saying Dennis Allen. He's going to get a real defense and real defensive coordinator to shut this guy down, right? Bingo, Chuck. He's going to do it. He's going to control him in the Charles- pocket. He's going to... 
Pagano. Hey, what's the deal? <laughs> Michael Lombardini. Mm-hmm. This is disgusting. Joe what Barry. you are doing to Tommy DeVito right <laughs> Joe now. Joe Barry's not a real DC. Yeah, what are you talking about? Joe Barry's got nine ones across the board over there on defensive side, Ty. Ain't yeah. that right? No, he absolutely stinks. He's terrible. <laughs> he has been terrible since he got the job. Lombo knows. He hears it from his cousin all the time. It's all the time. Yeah. Your cousin, how's your family? That's awesome. Yeah. He, uh, my cousin Vin, my cousin who's named Vince Lombardi, who is, was on the pod last week, has been complaining about Joe Barry relentlessly. And I kind of back him off a little bit, but last week the, the first text started coming in ten minutes after the game started. I couldn't argue with him. I will let you know that this Tommy DeVito situation has certainly confused some people sure. that are new to watching the show. Yeah. Yes, my name is Patrick McAfee. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yes, I am the Irish kid amongst a bunch of Italian. But 23 of me told me 0.01% Italian. Sorry about it. So I'm sorry about it. I got the Italian horn. I've been blessed by the gobble gods. I do believe (laughs) multiple times in the Tommy DeVito story. I love it. And I would like to see it continue to go. Just because the show off the field is only going to continue to build. As somebody that grew up within the Italian culture, it's only going to get better in this Italian. Mm-hmm. thing but sounds like lombardi pagano Jeez. you have anything no, to no, say I'm, to a, I'm a believer in tommy how about you Moraldo? you out on i love tommy cutlass okay all right <laughs> see that sounded sarcastic yeah. let's move forward <laughs> 